The project first began here in 1992. The previous year, the late president, His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, had expressed interest in having archaeological research done on some of the islands of Abu Dhabi. Because Sir Banias was important to him as a wildlife reserve, an island he was very fond of, he specifically asked if we could start to do some initial survey work here on Sir Banias. The first team came down in 1992 and spent five or six days on the island, finding over 30 individual archaeological sites. It was obvious it was worthwhile coming back to do some more detailed survey and excavation. After the initial survey in 1992, um, we identified a number of archaeological sites um, here on the, the site we're on now, but also in the pens uh, just to the north of here, where there seemed to be seven or eight smaller sites. So the first excavations in this area began in 1993. We knew we had some kind of settlement of the 5th to 8th century AD, so from approximately 1,200 to 1,500 years ago. Then we started to broaden our excavations and found the very first plaster cross. And we began to wonder at that point, was it possible that this was some kind of organized settlement like a monastery? We then found a very regular building. It became quickly clear it was over 15 meters long and 11 meters wide and that we were dealing with a very substantial building indeed. We immediately began to find more beautiful decorated plaster with crosses and grape designs. People would then have approached through the east gate of the monastery into a small courtyard area. There are two platforms which might have been used for preaching by priests. Inside that, the main building you see, is the church, a basilica-like church. It's quite clear that their decision to found a monastery on Sirbanias was politically and economically motivated. This is an excellent stopping off point on the journey from the head of the Gulf, Kuwait and Iraq, all the way to India. It has great potential for shedding light on the origins and development of early Christianity in this region. It is something that the government is very keen to have exposed. The country's leaders have specifically asked that this site should be further developed, expanded and opened up so that it can be explained to visitors and to residents of the UAE. It's a key part of the project. One important part of the strategy of the Tourism Development and Investment Company, TDIC, is to make it possible not only for foreign visitors, but also for the people of the United Arab Emirates itself to see the country's history, heritage and culture. There's a well-known saying of the late Sheikh Zayed that a people that does not know its past cannot understand its present or be prepared for the future. Well, this is a key part of that past. <laughs>